Hi everybody, this is Susie, and welcome to another Wild Bunch video on behalf of Wild Orca Crafts. I have a great project to share with you today, and I hope you like it. It is a mask and a top hat. So, um, what I have here first is, um, is a Mardi Gras mask that was plain white, like almost a chalky white feel to it. It was, it was hard, uh, like a hard plastic. And I used the Prima Tea Time paper uh, with a... Um, with the Mod Podge to put that on top uh, of the mask. I like the way it came out. Um, at first I was a little disappointed to be totally honest because you can actually see some of the paper lines there um, but seeing it in person it's really very beautiful um, and of course um, once I was finished embellishing um, I wound up using the beautiful flowers from Wild Orca Crafts um, and I had also used one of their uh, one of these new um, the pin caps, very, very pretty. It's kind of almost like a daisy, and it, it looks like it's um, like a jewelry. Very, very pretty. I put a pearl in the center of that. And, and with the flowers, they stayed uh, in the color range of white cream, a green color, pink, pale pink. Um, and I used the same flowers on the other side. So if you see it um, face on, uh, you know, I have flowers on the right bottom and flowers up on the right side. Very, very pretty, and a crystal and some lace up on the top center. And um, coming over to the top hat that I made completely from scratch. I love the way that came out. I'm just going to um, take this off for a moment to show you how I have this. So there's the mask. And I have a piece. Of, it looks really cool when you put it on with the, um, with the handle. See, the handle um, is actually like this, and it fits underneath the mask. Um, but th this is not finished yet. That's why I really didn't share it with you. But now that I did, I might as well just leave it there. Um, I'm either going to be putting the um, Mod Podge and the paper on here, or I might just uh, spray paint it pink or, or green or something like that. I'm not really sure yet. Um, coming over to the to the top hat, it's just so adorable. And the funny part is, is that it's so small, and it makes it even cuter. Um, I have the Wild Orca Craft flowers on here, of course, in the uh, burgundy, gray, and pink family, and I um, love those flowers. I even have some of the calla leaves, my favorite, and the, the bud roses there. I hope you can see that clearly. And um, not only did I make the hat, but I also made the, the sash, and I attached the fringes to it. It's a piece of silk. And in the very back part of the hat here, uh, there's just some uh, ruffled lace. It's kind of stiff. It's uh, lace that I would use on a Halloween project um, that I had purchased sometime last year around this time as well. Uh, no feathers this time. I was actually going for a, um, a Mad Hatter look. Uh, but being that I had already made so many, so many of the Mad Hatter hats, I just wanted to make something that would look nice um, with the mask actually so because my goal at, at one point when I was doing this was um, oops sorry I was just trying to get that to stay on there was um, I really wanted the the hat to be adhered onto the mask so I can wear it together which I can certainly do that I would have to actually remove the lace though and like maybe tip it to the side like this and somehow I don't know it's just gonna fall down so sorry about that you guys but yeah um, I also used um, the flat back pearls here uh, also from Wild Walker Crafts as you can see that in the pink color um, everything will be listed in the drop down box below um, and I'm I love the way it came out it's very pretty something a little different that I haven't made in a while I do have a bunch of outstanding projects that I had started within the past six months and they were big projects and put them aside and never finished them so my plan is to actually uh, finish those before the end of the year so go on over to www.wildorchocrafts.com and check out some of the beautiful flowers, pearls, spray pearls, Christmas 
um, embellishments for cards, crafts, home decor. There's so many beautiful things over at Wild Walker Crafts. Go on over and check them out. And also, don't forget to check out our channel on YouTube, uh, the Wild Walker Crafts channel, because we have all of our amazing other designers who are there uh, sharing with you some of the projects that they have created, even tutorials. So, okay, you guys. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. And I appreciate all of your comments, really, I do. And hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for stopping by.